Good afternoon, folks. This is Glenn again with the word for today for November 1st, 2019, part two. This is part two of the series. And we'll go right into the word. We're talking about a spirit of denial. This is the Antichrist spirit. Spirit of denial, Antichrist spirit. This is found in 1 John chapter 2, verses 22 through 23. So I went to this website, the 444 Prophecy News website. And this is by a, a man named TST5, or a lady, somebody named TST5, saying Jesus Christ is God. This is at 1029 a.m. on October 30th is when this prophecy was posted. 1 John chapter 2, verses 22 through 23. Who is a liar, but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Okay, 1 John chapter 4, verse 3. 1 John 4 and 3. And every spirit that does not count, confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is down of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Okay, so this is Jesus speaking to me. If they, if they deny me, then I will deny them. If they deny me, then I will deny them. This is found in the book of Matthew Chapter 24, verses 4 through 5. Matthew 24, verses 4 and 5. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceive you, deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. Also, Matthew chapter 10, verses 32. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 through 35. Key verse 33. This is also where if they deny me, then I will deny them. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 through 35. Therefore, whoever confesses me before man, him I will also confess before my Father, who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father, who is in heaven. Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth, for I did not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her Mother, mother-in-law. Second John one seven. Second John one seven, talking about the spirit of the Antichrist. For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is the deceiver and the Antichrist. The book of Jude, chapter one, verse four. The book of Jude, verse four. For certainly men have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men. Return the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And then the Lord speaks again, I never knew you. This is found in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, key verse 23. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. I also want to include a song that the Lord brought to me by Hank Williams Sr., Hank Williams. How can you refuse him now? So this song, How Can You Refuse Him Now? By Hank Williams. I'll go ahead and post a link in the description box. You can click on that link and play it. Okay, so the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus speaking to me again here at 12:24 p.m. today, October 31st. He says, "Into outer darkness, where there is wailing and gnashing of teeth." This is found in three different areas of Matthew, the book of Matthew. So Matthew 8:12, Matthew 22:13, and Matthew 25:30. So let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 12. Matthew 8 and 12, but the sons of the kingdom will be cast out in the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew chapter 22, verse 13. Matthew 22 and 13. Then the king said to the servants, Bind them hand and foot and take them away and cast them into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew chapter 25, verse 30. Matthew 25 and 30. And cast the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay, folks and family, I just want to add a little side note here, prophecy.org. And I was thinking when I went over these verses in this message today, 
from Prophecy.org about fingers over their eyes and finger in their ears of denying Jesus as the Christ. You can find these in Prophecies 0173, 0208, 0548, 0976, and 1137. So this is another way where they're denying Jesus, denying the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They put their fingers over their eyes and their fingers in their ears. They didn't want to hear the Word. They didn't want to hear anything God has to say or Jesus has to say or the Holy Spirit has to say. So once again, they're denying denying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in that way. So it's Prophecies 173, 208, 548, 976, and 1137. That's at prophecy.org. I'll go ahead and post links to those in the description box as well. So go ahead and take a look at those. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. So five different ones about fingers over their eyes and fingers in their ears. Finally, at 3.03 p.m., almost about an hour ago, it's right, it's all, it's 3.52 right now. So at 3.03 p.m., God gives me this final message. Malachi chapter 4, verses 5 through 6, key verse 6. Okay, the book of Malachi chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest they come and strike the earth with a curse. Okay, folks and family, that's it right now. That's that's the word for today. Part 2 for November 1st, 2019. I hope you learned as much as I did. Thanks for staying with me all this, all this time. Uh, I want to bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being there with me. Thanks for your prayers and support. It's greatly appreciated. God bless you all. Whatever you do this weekend, just be safe out there. And uh, I want to let you know that God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Get ready for his return. You know not what hour and day he's going to return. So this is your day of salvation. This is your day of decision. Get ready for him. I love you all very much and I'll talk to you another day. Be good and be safe out there. Bye-bye.